Hi guys, you're back here again with me, the Flower Boss, and this is little Miss Irene. She's one of our custom designers here at the shop. And today we have a fun video for you. Very fun. With something that's super popular right now. Um, I know in the videos we were going step by step, like from the beginning on. But due to quarantine and everybody being at home and kind of bored, um, we've been really busy sending out arrangements. Because it, it's nice for people to know that they're, they're still thought of. And um, these are actually going out to a few family members that we haven't seen because of quarantine. So when you make a custom arrangement for somebody, you want it to be really special about something they like, something they're into. Um, I like it when guys come in here on Valentine's and they bring things that their wife or girlfriend you know, really love, like either makeup, this, that, they'll bring me all the stuff and they'll say, Jen, you know, can you make me something really cool? And we can, you know, pick in perfume and makeup and all this and make this big arrangement with flowers and have all kinds of stuff they love incorporated into it. So <clears throat> today, what we are doing is a fun one. I think it's kind of something controversial right now all over the internet but I don't know it's a fun thing I don't want anybody to take offense to it it just happens to be what the person that we are sending this to is in um, again customs are really awesome especially for any kind of um, so crazy I'm saying this service arrangements um, one time you know there was a service arrangement for a firefighter instead of just a plain standing spray I was like why don't you guys bring in a boot you know one of your uh, boots so we made a huge arrangement out of a fireman's boot um, it, for little girls we'll make things out of you know princesses or it, if it's for a wife so a huge makeup arrangement um, if some people are into art you can pick in paint brushes paints uh, different types of canvas things like that so you can go all over the place with this and as we I don't have a plan for this this is not something we planned out. I thought about what I was going to do, but, you know, with customs, it's kind of like when you start and you envision something in your head, it can go the complete opposite direction as you're going. So, um, this is kind of a surprise to you. I'm sure you guys are going to figure this out really quick. Again, this is all in fun. Um, what we have here is a bucket of things we've washed. These are not new items. These are things that we needed just to make this arrangement. So, here I have which is clean because we don't want to get the flower water dirty. I have an old shoe that we have clean, sanitized. This is going to be submerged in this vase. I also have some ripped up denim. Just an old pair of jeans. We ripped, shredded. This is going to go down in there. We have, let me get another bucket here. We have some socks. And we have some willow that we took off of just a, a straw wreath that had some thick willow around it that I thought was pretty cool looking. We can use for this. Um, we have a manicurist finger here. Um, a dog bone. We have our puppies chewed up my daughter's one of her little play dolls. Chewed the fingers and the toes and everything else. So. Instead of throwing it away, I saved it and brought it here to make picks out of to put down in the arrangement. Um, we printed a few things off the internet that we're going to make picks out of. I'm not going to show you what these are yet because it's going to give it away. I know you guys are going to guess just by what you see right now. Can you hand me that stuffed animal, please? Oh, and we have a cylinder vase. The vase part of this is going to be in this big, clear cylinder. So... The guy that we're building this arrangement around is going to be a stuffed animal that's going to go with it. So, here we have a big stuffed tiger with a little flower halo on his head. And I'm sure you guys can guess at this point who she is. This is going to go with, um, uh, <laughs> this is going to go with the flowers, um, we thought that this little flower headband was a nice added touch to this arrangement. So we're going to put him aside because I don't want to get him wet, but I wanted to show you guys, yes, this is going to be an arrangement for somebody who really enjoys the Tiger King and is into that show right now. I'm sure you've all seen it. 
so we're gonna get started here um let's get the base Irene you want to pull up your sleeves and what we're gonna do is we're gonna submerge all these items these are clean there's no um soap or anything left on them we made sure everything was rinsed off really good so we're just gonna tuck all this down in there and with customs you're gonna end up shopping for stuff everywhere you're gonna it, you know if it's a kid you're gonna have to go to a toy store and get stuff or if it's a woman you're gonna have to go to the mall or if it's a guy you're gonna have to go to a sports store it you're gonna end up all over the place when you make a custom arrangement so here is some denim she's tucking down in so she's just gonna put the sock coming out of the shoe and again this is all in good fun so the willow she's gonna tuck down in there it looks a little um you know like a you know this is such a taboo subject and it's all over the internet I really don't know what to say right now it looks like an intestine okay um, looks like things you would see if somebody was attacked by a tiger laying around so we've seen jokes and memes about all of this all over the internet people are having fun with it right now some people love it we've seen people with t-shirts I seen a girl with a mask that was really cute here's another sock and um, the, yeah the person we're sending this to is really into the tiger team this and this doesn't have to be perfect to rip it up we kind of want it to look shredded um, and you know when you guys learn to design you want to make it's kind of like a tattoo you don't want to go in a tattoo shop and just pick something off the wall like I said you want to you know have something that is your own or have them draw something for you just like this this is for somebody you care about you want it to be something that fits their personality something they're into something they like they're gonna appreciate the thought so much more than just walking in and grabbing something off the shelf or picking something out of a book because they know that you went the extra mile and you thought about them you know and um, customs is gonna be the last thing that you're gonna learn in our videos but because of quarantine we do, we need to have some we need to have some fun right now and we just figured we would make some videos while we were doing this stuff here we were like you know what we might as well film it because it'll be a fun thing so um, these things we cut out so we cut out a picture here of the Tiger King laminated it because we don't want it to get wet from the water here's another one that says, says make America exotic again Again, no plan yet. I don't know if we want to put this on the vase here or if we want to put this up here or if we want to pick it in. We're going to see as we go um, with these little doll legs and arms. We're going to make some picks out of these because we're going to stick them down in the flowers. Irene, can you make some picks? And here is just a little manicurist finger. This we're going to put down in here. Okay. That looks good. So, we're going to fill this up with water now because we do need water to feed our flowers. And we're going to tape the top of this base. So, what do you guys think? Let, let me know in the comments below. What do you think happened? Everybody has a bunch of different, everybody has a di bunch of different opinions. And I know this is completely popular right now because. Everybody's on quarantine, home watching movies and watching TV. I've heard a whole bunch of different opinions from people. It's definitely a very crazy show. Um, okay, so she's got the pics going on. And I will start... Oh, I'll start taping this. Let me dry this off. Just a piece of denim. So we're going to take... Uh, tape a tic-tac-toe pattern on the top of this so it'll hold our flowers and greens in. Irene's so short she makes me look like a giant on um, this video here. <laughs> and with customs you can go as far as you want. You can tint flowers, you can spray flowers, you can put glitter on the tips of them, uh, wrap fabric around them, 
Like the ideas are endless when it comes to custom arrangements. And you know the cool part when you make a custom for somebody, they're like, oh my gosh, look at this, look at that, I didn't see that, look at this piece, look at that piece, and it's kind of fun. Okay, so we taped a tic-tac-toe pattern, just a tic-tac-toe, across the top. Now we're going to go around the vase to hold that tape on because we don't want it coming off. And you're not going to be able to see, see this tape once we get the uh, greens on it. Okay, there we go. Okay. So we're going to start greening. Let me get, you want to grab the greens? You want me to grab them? So we're going to pull some leather. I'm going to have her start putting some leather leaf in here. Because we do want this to have, I'm going to get a bunch of different greens because we want this to have kind of like a jungle feel, you know? So we're going to get, here's our picks made to pick down in our arrangement. Here's some greens. And then go ahead and come on the side and start green. I'm going to go get her some other greens. Be right back. Yeah, I'm gonna start greening them. Okay, so she's greening. I went and got some, she has some leather here. I have here some lemon leaf and I also brought some Commodores, some of these bigger, uh, bigger leaves. If you want to add some Commodore on there, that'll look pretty awesome. That way we can take in all the pictures of other else. Okay, so here is some Myrtle too, long green. Add some of this down in here as well. Kind of hard to do it from behind, but I want you guys to see what we're doing. Okay, so remember we're going to always clip our greens and clip all of our flowers before they go down in the water because we do want, um, we want them to keep drinking. We want everything to have a fresh cut. Okay, so let's just add a bunch of greens. And you don't need to be really perfect with this because we do want oh, this is long leaf. Hang on a second. It's kind of messing up our view here of everything in the vase. Okay. We do want it kind of, you know, that jungle feel, so we're gonna add a bunch of different stuff. Lemon leaf is an awesome filler. I love how lemon looks down in arrangements. Okay, add some more. And these stem stems you can cut up into whatever lengths you want. I just thought this would be something fun to do right now because that show is so popular and everybody's totally into it. I'm trying to avoid, to avoid the stems coming down and completely covering what we're um, putting in here. So this is kind of long, this one. Always check your greens. If there's some brown on it, you don't want to use it. Get rid of it. Because you don't want any type of bad stuff going down in your arrangement. So um, we have some purple blads in there that are really pretty. We can add in here as well. He was kind of... Um, had a very loud personality and I noticed even in the show the stuff that he would wear was like very sequenced and loud and 
Well, it's just like the little extras that will make a custom come together. You know, once it all comes together, you're like, oh my gosh, look at this, look at that, like I had said. Um, here is, so this is Snapdragons. We wanted to put some tall flowers in here because we have a huge tiger that this arrangement is going to be sitting next to. So we want this arrangement to be huge as well. See, these are very, very pretty purple gladiolas. Okay. Flowers on the table. Oh, let me get some green spray so we can spray all of our green spray down. Green spray down these greens. Go ahead. Okay, there you go. Okay, now let's add, to add some of these gladiolas to the back. And if you come across a bloom that's bad or that didn't open right, just get rid of it. Cut it off. Okay, so let's, you want to measure where you're cutting. Normally, you want your flowers to go in the bottom of the vase. But because this is filled up to here, we're going to measure about right here. Let's get rid of that. So, do we want to pick these in the arrangement to hold that one up there? No, I think this one should go in there. And then this one we can either put in here too. This is what I'm talking about. About a cut. Come on the side, Irene. This is what I mean about a custom. You don't know until you're going kind of where it's going to go sometimes. So, hold that there. Do you think this will look better here? Or this around the bottom of the vase. You can, you guys can see. So we can put, attach this around the bottom of the vase like this. You can see, sorry. And that one kicked in up there. Or we could take this in here as well. What do you think? I like that stronger. Down here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's make a pick out of that one, and then this one will attach a different way. Let's add, add, let's add some orange ones in here, too, because we got that big bright tiger that's going to go in here with this. Snapdragon. Okay, so here are some Bells of Ireland. This looks really cool. We can add this down in here. We want to save a space, save a space right here for where we're going to pick in our... Um, our Tiger King picture. Okay, so I'm going to have Irene take over and I'm going to have her design a little bit. Go ahead, Irene. Go ahead and throw some stuff in there. Just go to it. was a student here a long time ago and she stayed with us and she's been here ever since designing she can make anything now so I really like how this arrangement has a lot of height on it because that stuffed animal is so big we kind of want the flowers to um we want the flowers to speak to we don't want them overwhelmed by this huge tiger in this little arrangement so it's going to all come together really cute when it's done. And hopefully it'll put a smile to her face. Because she's really into that show. It's so funny. I've seen online um, like where people had food delivered or 
packages delivered mm -hmm. and there'll be signs out there and it'll say do you think she did it set it on this table if you <laughs> think she didn't do it set it on this table or you know um if you think she did do it set the pizza on the table not the chair it's hilarious oh my gosh and he is such a just crazy character that you can't you start to watch that show and you just really get sucked in Irene has not watched it. I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> you do. You start watching it, and then before you know it, you're just like stuck there at the TV, watching the next episode, watching the next episode, because you can't believe the things that are going on in the show. I mean, anything you can think of is happening there, and it's just like you're sitting there with your mouth open the whole time watching the show. Like, is this even real? Is this happening? It's crazy crazy I did think though that I don't know in the show I thought it was kind of a kind of crazy how he um, you know everybody was doing exactly what he was doing in the show everybody was breeding tigers at one point everybody was selling them everybody was letting them pet or um, Having people to pay to come in and pet the tigers. Even the woman in the show was having... Uh, it showed people going into her park paying to go in. So they were all doing the exact same thing. So it, it would... I don't know. The whole, the whole thing is everybody has their opinions about what happened and who did what. And, you know, in the show, I seen a lot of him saying, you know, he had wished something had happened to her. And I was thinking, like, I don't know, because what kind of person, how dumb can you be to go on a TV show saying, oh, I wish this person was, you know, gone over and over and over and over. And then to actually follow through and have somebody attempt that, like, knowing you're going to be the first person they look at, I don't even... It just makes no sense, and it's kind of crazy to me how, you know, the people that told on him were the people that actually benefited from him being in jail. They ended up with his his um, his zoo and things like that, and it it just kind of makes you think, like, wow, what what was really happening? What what was really going on? And I'm sure you know there's all a million different stories, but it kind of some people are totally. Like, no, he needs to be in prison. And then the other people are like, he needs to be out. And I don't know. It's just, it's a trip watching it. I mean, I have my opinion, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to go there. But, um, so what are you adding right now? Some buttons? I'm going to add some buttons and orange carnations. You know what I did think was crazy, though, is she came at him really hard with lawsuits and this and that. And he was over there, you know, running his mouth about what had happened to her husband. But I didn't hear anything on the show about, um, you know, her filing lawsuits with all these other people and doing this and that. And it kind of just makes you think, like, why was she so out for him? Because she, in the in the movie, they talk about her. She actually talks about stalking him down and sending people to find out where he was working, where they were performing at, and her, you know, crowd of followers sending out thousands and thousands of emails to mess up his gig or his work for the day, and actually hiring or having people go do that. And you know, to me, that's kind of like. She was stalking him and making a problem with him. This is just my opinion. You know, before he had even started anything with her, and that was okay. But then once he started saying all these things about her and, you know, running his opinion, and it was, you know, reflecting on her life or things that had happened with her, she didn't like it too much. And she came after him. She came after him really hard, and it was just, I don't know, it just, a lot of what's in there doesn't 
of course, you know, oh, uh, what he went to jail for is never right, but it just makes you think, like, what really happened? Like, why was she so obsessed? And, and I mean, just, it was like all her energy was focused on, you know, hunting him down, shutting him down, this, that, but... He couldn't say nothing about her without her making a big old problem. And she kind of, she started it. And it was, the whole, the whole thing is just mind-blowing. You, you just sit back and you're just in awe the whole, the whole time. You know, a lot of the people look really good, though, in the last, um, the last show. They looked really good. The one, the hu husband had had his teeth done. He looked really good. And, um... The girl that the tiger had, uh, you know, bit her arm. They all look like they're doing really good and really happy. The other guy uh, with the legs, uh, the prosthetic legs, he seems like he's really happy, doing good. So I guess in that sense, it's good that they have moved on. Um, I, I really do hope that he did do those things and people were not just, you know, out to take his out to take his stuff i just so we're looking fancy we got this big old arrangement over here um you made that okay but i'm, I'm too short <laughs> <You're> too... <laughs> she's too short so my big self has to do it okay They have these really cool ribbons too. They're kind of metallic. I don't know. These kind of, I had to clean up the table a little bit. I had a disaster going on over here. Okay, so we're going to pick in our stuff. I'm going to make this one a little bit longer. I'm going to add another stick to it. Um, again, we're just going to floral tape it. And I am going to, once I tape these two together, I am going to go back down again with the floral tape because we don't want the stick showing. My gloves are so horrible. Those are so horrible. All the plastic lining has messed up on the back side. I'm going to have my green finished wrapping this. Can you wrap this down for me? My gloves are sticking to it, and I don't want to touch up flowers because I don't know why they bother my hands. Okay, so this bone. Let's make a big old pick out of this bone. I got a big fat bamboo stick here we can use to tape it on. Pretty good. You can use some bowl tape for this. And I hope this is all in fun for you guys too. We're not doing this to, you know, cause her or problems for anybody. It was actually a very interesting, interesting show. I loved it. So what do you guys think? I really want to know in the comments. I want to know what you guys think. It's so crazy to think that somebody with that much money walked away and left and didn't take any of his money. Like, I'd be like, oh, no, I'm not going anywhere without my money, my things, my... That's so insane. People don't do that. People don't just leave without their money. It's crazy in the show, it's crazy in the show too, how they were saying that um, that lady that worked for him was saying that was not his same, his same, um, I guess will. Okay. So I'm chopping this off with a chopper. We need a long stick. I just taped some bowl tape. It's kind of like tiny duct tape actually. So it makes it, it gives it a firm grip. That's too long. So let's cut some more off. There we go. And then that little piece of tape that's showing we're going to cut on the bone. We're going to cover that with some green. So, and then this, let's pick this in here. Okay. And we'll, again, we'll cover that stick with some, some filler. You won't be able to see it. My little legs here. Let's go down with some green again. You can either spray the sticks green. Or go just go down it again with some more floral tape. Oops, 
No. Okay. So. It's a little leg. Um, Want to add the bow earring and then we'll come back through with some filler. Just kind of put the bow somewhere where we can still see what's in the vase. Or we might have to cut the tail shorter. Still see, we can still see everything that we submerged down in the vase. Um, I'm gonna, you want to finish? We can continue with me. I'm gonna go get some filler. Some filler. I think this is really cute really really cute and we're gonna we are gonna either have to attach that bow to the side or cut it down because it is covering everything and you say this was you wanted this at the bottom right okay so. We are going to have to cut that down. <laughs> oh, this is funny. God, you can't help but laugh. Okay. Oh my gosh, we got so much stuff in this base. sticks, any of our tape that shows. And I apologize, you guys. I apologize, you guys. I am not the best at making YouTube videos. This is a process. We're learning. <laughs> I'm good at flowers. I am not good at making videos. I will master this. Trust me. <laughs> All right, can you do this side over there? Oh my gosh, this is great. Gosh, this is great. I love it. This rose is kind of... One. Oh, I just broke it. The vase is so full. It is saying no more. Alrighty, let's move this stuff out of the way so we can show them the final. Okay guys, so here you have it, our final gifts. So we have our tiger over here with our silk headband. She's super cute. We have our vase down there that says Make America Exotic again. Inside we have our shoe, socks, some denim, a finger, a nice bright bow like you see him wearing the 
his shirts. We have some picked in fingers, hands, a bone. We have roses, carnations, lilies, gladiolas, uh, sunflowers. Here's just a picture we printed out and laminated. So this is our final custom. And I think that she will love it when it gets to her house. I think she will absolutely love it. She's totally into this show, and she's going to love all the little details of this, everything that we put into it. And it really didn't take us that long, but it will definitely mean a lot. Um, like I said, when you go out of your way to think about the person and add just the extra little details, it means a lot. So thank you guys for watching with us. Thanks for hanging out while we made this arrangement. Um, you guys have a good day. Uh, please like and subscribe. We will be making more. We're going to do another one today. Uh, and we hope you join us. Have a good day. Bye-bye.